Gotan back once again, talking to you about HDMI settings. Now I've got the PS4 Pro, and I see a question a lot of you are asking is what's better, YUV420 or RGB? Well, the short answer is RGB is better, it's always going to be better, and here's why. RGB offers true chroma. It broadcasts at about 18 gigabyte or close to it, and what that's doing is it's actually outputting the full colour. Now, normal games will actually look a lot better with RGB on, and games that support HDR still look better using RGB. Now, some of you, the more technical out there, will be going, hang on a second, hang on a second, you can't actually do that, because the HDR would take you over the bandwidth limit of the cable. Well, fear not, the PS4 Pro actually takes care of that for you. It'll drop the signal down to YUV422. Now, 422 is actually a compressed signal, but over the top of that it adds your 10-bit HDR and that actually makes things look absolutely fantastic and this is what you want to achieve when you're playing your 4K games with your HDR enabled. Now you can actually run with YUV420 and that's fine, all that's doing is it's compressing the signal and you will actually see a slight difference in the chroma. Um, if you're chroma sensitive, it'll make a huge difference. If you're not chroma sensitive, you might not notice the difference between YUV 420 and RGB. But let's go through some examples. So, here I am playing a little bit of Horizon Zero Dawn. Now I've got my telly set here to RGB. And as you can see there, you know, things look quite impressive. There's quite a lot of nice colours. Um, more than likely he'll not see the HDR through the stream and the captured video, it's just a limitation of the technology as it stands at the moment. When I put this on YouTube, YouTube doesn't really broadcast much in HDR. But as you can see, you know things are quite fantastic, colours are quite nice, and then if I pause the game... Here I am in the settings, and it shows you here that it's dropped to YUV422 but it's still shown that the HDR is on the cable there. Now what this will be doing is this will be taking up nearly the full 18 gigabits bandwidth to broadcast the best possible colours and HDR at the same time. If I quit Horizon Zero Dawn, go back to the video output information, this is what you'll see. You'll see it's still shown colour format RGB. And this will be the best colours for standard games that don't support HDR, at least not yet. The last thing I wanted to point out to you was I've talked about switches in the past. Now, the best possible output you can get with these switches currently is your 4K setting set to YUV420, but you still get your HDR through. Now, that's with the Gronje I've talked about and with uh, Seawall's Ibis. Um, I've tried both of those and with RGB do you get dropouts, and that's just because of the sheer amount of bandwidth. So, as soon as I find a switch, that's reasonably priced, that'll give you the RGB so we can get 422 plus HDR whilst still having the PSV plugged in without having to unplug that cable all the time. I'll let you know. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and I'll answer when I can. Thanks for watching.